James Wan is James the Wine Guy, fantastic wine from Galatayud. It's a beautiful garnacha. Stay tuned for this review. Now, I love this wine. Um, Las Rocas, I've been tasting for quite some time, and uh, proper introduction begins now. So this is La Rocas in the front panel de San Alejandro, and uh, so you'll see a Garnacha 2013 vintage from the DO called Calata Yud, and 15% uh, ABV, back panel for your inspection right here, and uh, you'll see on the bottom here is the Calata Yud DO. So the back panel for your review right here, You'll see again 15% ABV, the Calata Yud uh, stamp on the bottom, the DO stamp. And so this wine is fantastic, it's just so easy to enjoy, and it has some very familiar characteristics of Garnacha Grenache. And uh, I try not to say Grenache too much because when I, when I think of this wine, I think that it is an international variety that really stems and comes from Spain. Although the French get credit for this being in terms of being the Rhone set of wines, I think Garnacha really has a strong position uh, in terms of being from the Iberian Peninsula. So Garnacha is really a variation in terms of its alcohol point. It can handle a lot of alcohol, such as this one right here. It can also go down pretty low, about 13.5%. And uh, each of these wines characterize a little bit differently. I would say if you have a 15% Pinot Noir, it's really not that exciting. It's actually uh, masking a lot of characteristics, although there are some getting to that point, which is kind of surprising in terms of uh, coming to the marketplace. A lot of the 14 and a half are just, you know, it's something that you're gonna see for a long time. When it comes to Granacha, it really is a wine variety that can handle a lot of alcohol. And it's not going to mask the characteristics. And in fact, I think I would make the argument that it's going to envelop some of the characteristics and make these wines even more sterling and more polished. So first, the scent characterization, flavor profile, and the point score. So in this, I'm getting the scent characterization of Tayberry Cassis, black cherry suede, dense forest, and uh, autumnal stone fruit orchard. And next, the flavor characterization, then the point score. So enjoying the uh, weaving of black cherry, strawberry, and those are very curious notes, right? Because you don't hear a lot of strawberry notes with black cherry or cherry notes, but I think they're really in harmony together. White and red pepper, cinnamon and clove. This one is a 9.0 out of my 10.0 scale. Think of that as 90 points out of 100 points. So more information will be listed down below and uh, questions and comments can be listed there as well, as well as a like button, by the way. So if you don't mind hitting that, I'd really appreciate it. So stay tuned for more wine reviews to come many more beautiful garnacha I had as well. And uh, so it's a fantastic journey. 2015 has been an amazing year, uh, putting foot in ground. I haven't been to Caratayud, but at some point I will, and uh, lucky enough to be in Spain this year and Portugal. So uh, experiencing this beautiful world of wine. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos to come. You'll find me in a variety of social media, so let's engage there. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. And thank you again for watching. Sunny.